Hey, how's it going? Oh, Easter now. I'm feeling rough. I had many eggs. But, um, yeah. So, in the last video we got a model, but it looks sort of flat, because we didn't apply any lighting. In this video we're going to apply simple directional lighting. We're going to take that normal attribute that we loaded in, and we're actually going to use it. So, to start with, we'll just head to the mesh file. I can just find this. That's VK mesh, the mesh dot header, and I'm going to update this. So I'm going to add in three floats. So we'll have 11 floats per vertex, and then right down the bottom. This is a little weird. Probably don't need this. Could probably just resize the vector, but that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and add a normal attribute. Okay. So just change the location to three, and it'll be a, a 3D vex, so that's fine. And we'll have an offset of eight floats. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's head to the vertex menagerie. And when we consume all these vertices, we're gonna divide by 11 now to get the vertex count. Then we'll go to the object mesh. And right down the bottom, like I said, I've already loaded all of this in. And it doesn't matter if we don't have a text coordinate attribute, because if we don't, then we'll just get an empty string, which is being handled at this point. So long story short, let's get the normal and add that in. There we go, great. So at this point, we um, should have that all set up and we'll just go over to our shaders and modify those, starting with the vertex shader. And on the vertex shader, we'll just take in this vertex normal, attribute three, vec three, and we will output a fragment normal. There we go. Location to vec three. All right. Great, so then we'll just transform it. So we'll go um, fragment normal. And this is gonna be a little funky, but what we wanna do is take the model matrix and multiply, transform the vertex normal, but I'm just gonna put a W coordinate of zero so that we're not applying any translations since it is just a direction vector. Okay, great. So then I'm going to take that and get the X, Y, Z components of it. And just in case, I'm gonna normalize all of that. Okay, excellent. So then we'll go to the fragment shader and we'll take that in. Whoops, that should be out, shouldn't it? Okay, fragment shader puts it out, sorry, vertex shader puts it out. Fragment shader takes it in. Excellent. So then I just need to apply some lighting. So I'm going to need a basic light color and direction. Let's go with this, we'll go. We'll just make it all ones. So white with an alpha of one. And then for the sun direction, I want it to be forwards with the camera, so a, a x coordinate of x component of one, maybe going right to left, so a y coordinate of one, and then going down, so a z coordinate of negative one. Now, just so that this works properly, I'm going to normalize that. Okay, now we're almost there. Now, to get the output color, we'll take the sun color, multiply that with the um, the dot product. So we'll take, of course we don't want it to be less than zero. We'll take the dot, the fragment normal, and then if the sun is pointing in this direction, and when it reflects off of the surface, it will be the negative of that. And multiply that together. So again, think about it like, well, we want the surfaces which are pointing back at us to be illuminated, which is why we're taking the negative of that. 
Okay, so that should all be saved. We can then go ahead and compile the shaders. And I can see that those dates have updated. So yes, I think. Let's give it a shot. Now, before we do anything, we do see an error. Okay, debugging Andrew from the future here. I've had a look through this and there's something I missed right down the bottom. This needs to be taken from the vertex normals set. Of course, of course. And the other thing is make sure you are compiling in the correct folder. I was compiling different shaders. Okay, so with those adjustments made, we should be ready to go. Give that a shot. There we are. Oh, no, no. YouTube, don't demonetize me. Okay, so seems like we need to apply a pre-transform to this model in order to see the other side. No worries. Let's do that the same way we set the file names. So we'll just go back. Where was it? Where were we? To the engine and right down to create assets. So I'll define a set of pre-transforms. For most of them, they will be the identity, except for that girl model. I want to switch that around. Okay, no problem. So for this one, we'll go rotate, stack it onto the identity. For the angle, that is 180 degrees. And then for the axis, that will be around the Z axis. Okay, let's give that a go. Oh, what am I even thinking? We haven't used it. Okay, so here we'll send in the appropriate pre-transform for the given model type, mesh type. Okay, now let's give that a go. There we go, that's looking much better. So yeah, here we got models, we applied some simple directional lighting. Wouldn't it be great if we had something interesting going on in the sky? That'll probably be the focus of the next video, is getting a cube map onto this. Okay, anyway, that'll be it for now. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>